Welcome back. This is Frederick. Now I'm going to show you a little bit of an update related to you know Data View PC, which is our main software for looking at recorded files. But we also add an option for us to connect not only one but up to two uh, USB analyzers that can run. And the benefit for this is that uh, you can have one wideband, you know, with the increased sweep speed, and the one other one is meant to record a narrow band. Uh, or up to 40 megahertz. So I will conduct a small demo here when I've connected uh, an RSA. You can see that, you know, an RSA view here. I will try to drag it in here slowly, so like this. And what I will do now is I just do, do a recording of one second. I will call this recording number uh, number three, hopefully. I can do that, number three. And when I'm done here, I will just start capturing. So I will do a start capturing and it will capture one second. I will close this one and you can see that you can have DPX view and you can have spectrum view and you can have the trigger and everything. So this is just using our new API to the full extent. And the other one, of course I only have one, the other one uh, would be, if I can get it in here, would be you know, this one. So you can have two of them running together. But unfortunately, I will only have one for this demo. I will update this later. Okay, so we have this file. We connected the file. I will load the file. This is number three. I will open it. And as you're aware, there's a, several ways to do things quick. I can run the time overview and just you know start time, and we'll go through the data. And in here, you can you know look at certain pulses. You can try to find things in here, and you can set the timing index. Uh, if you reset the timing index here, you can see that it's a full recording down here. But maybe I'm interested in an event that happens here. And you can see it actually down here tells you where this is. So if I start here and go back and I now play this one, I will only play it within this one. Of course, it's a little bit slow now, so overlap a little bit and a little bit more speed. And you can see what's going on here. So this is basically what's happening. The other thing which is new here is it's a pulse uh, or a, a frequency mask search. So I will try to edit the frequency mask. And here it is. So I will hopefully I will get some Bluetooth activities. So I will add a point here, add a point here, and then add a point here. And then I will go up like this, add a point here, and add a point here. So that's it. Uh, the other one, I, I need to reset the timing index. That's reset. I go back to the frequency mask here. Sorry for that. And I just press start. And it will go through this file to see all the events will mark them. And you can have uh, them as a pulse descriptive word or something else. So we have four events it found here. We see the start time, stop time, pulse duration, PRE, start frequency, stop frequency. So I right click here and set the start index here. And right click to set the stop index here. When I've done that, I can then just play around and I will play this one. And you can see nothing really is so quick. So I go to the overlap, you know, and I go reduced speed. So we can actually get something out of this. And here's the first drips, here's the second drip, and there's the third one. So this allowed me in a few seconds to narrow down a very short event of US uh, or Bluetooth pulses within a recording of one second. But it would be the same if it was a longer uh, recording. Uh, I will hopefully in the end of uh, you know, one or two weeks show you how you connect two RSAs at the same time and using, as I told you in the beginning of the one for a wideband monitoring and the second one for a more for up to 40 megahertz recording that signal and how you control it. Thank you. Bye.